was the chapter entitled, The Call of Abraham. If you're struggling with your calling in life, I highly suggest that you read that chapter. When the call comes to Abraham, it says, Abraham did not question whether the soil was fertile or the climate God called him to go into was healthful, whether there would be uh, grazing lands for his cattle. He went. Now, I was privileged and blessed uh, to be able to do my practicum in um, Botswana, Africa, at the uh, Kanye Seventh-day Adventist Hospital. And so we were there for a month, and then at the end of the month, uh, we were able to go on safari. And uh, on safari, uh, there was this, and this is an animal, but the, the animal, I couldn't take a picture of it, it was too fast. The animal I want to bring up is the African impala. Anyone familiar with the African impala? Very good. It's the size of, it's, it's basically an antelope, but it's the size of like a tiny dog, copper spaniel. And so we see one uh, jump by, and our ranger tells us, oh man, that's the African Impala. There's something, there's something special about the African Impala. Even though it's so tiny, it could, it could jump a length of 30 feet. In other words, if you, if you play basketball, you're jumping from the baseline to well past the three-point line. Okay? And it could jump to a height of 10 feet. So from the floor over the rim, this tiny little thing. And yet the interesting thing is, they can be kept in any enclosure, in any zoo, with a three foot tall wall. Mm -hmm. And so we were like, you know, 10 feet, 30 feet, that doesn't make sense. Why? He, just, he said something very interesting. He said, the African impala will not jump unless he can see where its feet will fall question this morning is, do we have the faith of Abraham or the faith of the African Paul? Mm -hmm. I think it's in Evangelism, page 57, it says, um, there are those who will not be useful at this time, I'm paraphrasing, because they will not move forward unless they can clearly see where their feet will fall. Mm -hmm. Second quote I want to share with you, Ministry of Healing, page 479, paragraph 2, it says, too many, how many? Too many. Too many. In planning for a brilliant future, make an utter failure, she says. She says, let God plan for you as a little child. Trust to the guidance of him who will keep the feet of the saints. Amen. Uh, this is a picture of my, my nephew. His name is Jason. He's three years old now. Uh, he wasn't three when he took this picture. Um, but I bring that up because there's a story of a little boy who was three years old, and he was caught in, in his house caught on fire, parents' house caught on fire, and uh, he had no option but to run upstairs. And um, by that time, the flames had engulfed the house. Um, he was able to get onto the roof, and his father ran outside, and his father was saying, "Son, jump! I'll catch you." But the son couldn't see him. There was too much smoke, too much ash. There was blackness everywhere. And his father is pleading with him because the only way he would survive is if he would jump. And so he's pleading with his son, Son, jump, I'll catch you. But the son responds, No, Dad, I can't see you. But the dad says, But I can see you. And that's all that matters. She says, As a little child, trust to the guidance of him. Who will keep the feet of the saints? Last quote I want to share with you. Oh, there's an example. Ministry, Ministry of Healing, page 479, paragraph 1. Notice this. Christ, in his life on earth, made how many plans for himself? No plans. And what does the Bible say he is? Our example. Now, for many of us, that is difficult because if you know me, I am a master planner. I know, I know what I wanted to do in high school, okay? I wanted to be, if under, you look at my graduation, or my, my high school yearbook, it says, I want to be a humble and wise trainer for the Lakers. <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted to be an uh, orthopedic surgeon. So I was going to go through nursing as my medical background, then go to medical school and, and do all that stuff and be an orthopedic surgeon and, and, and all these things, and then finally end up with the Lakers, okay? That's what I wanted to do. Had it all planned out. Did it happen that way? No. Praise God. I would not train anything that I have experienced these past six years for the world. 
She says, Christ in his life on earth made no plans for himself. He accepted God's plans for him. Notice what she says next. And day by day. How often? Semester by semester. Year by year. Paycheck to paycheck. She says, day by day, the Father unfolded his plans. So should we depend upon God that our lives may be the simple Simple, she says, outworking of His will. As we commit our ways to Him, He will direct our steps. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, or I guess what we've studied this morning as we come to a close. As we remember how God has led us in the past, we should have nothing to fear for the future. Amen. God asks us to remember how He has led us in the past. That we would be faithful today. Amen? Amen. Wherever God places us. And as we commit ourselves to Him, wherever they may be, may we be found faithful day by day.